this is going to be a short lecture. We're just going to do one thing here, and that is use QGIS to install two plugins that will be very useful for developing plugins. Uh, if you don't have QG QGIS opened already, go ahead and open QGIS. The previous lecture showed you where that will be installed. Um, you can also, if you're using Windows, probably search uh, from here, from your start menu, and click on QGIS bin.exe. I'm using a classic start menu. You can download a, a thing for it if you're interested. Um, what we'll do is we'll go to plugins, manage and install plugins. And then we're, we make sure you have all selected up here. And we're going to um, look for plugin builder three. So select that and then click install plugin. We'll take just a minute here and this plugin will get installed. What this plugin does is it creates all the necessary files to create a plugin. So we'll do that for you and you don't need to do it on your own, which is really great because it gives you the directory structure you need and all the configuration files you need and adds in the name of your plugin uh, into all that metadata. And so it's a really great way to get started and it saves a lot of time. Okay, and then we can just close that out. And the next one we need uh, is Plugin Reloader. So let's click on that and let's install that plugin. That was quick. And so what Plugin Reloader does is once you have a plugin that you've created and you make change to the code, you can use Plugin Reloader to reload that plugin without restarting QGIS. Uh, and that's really nice because otherwise if you don't have Plugin Reloader installed, you'll have to restart QGIS uh, to reload your plugin every time you make changes to the code, and that can get very annoying. So we've got those installed. I'm going to click Close here, and I'll show you where they reside. So if you didn't pay attention to those little icons, I should have pointed them out as we downloaded them. Um, but we have Plugin Builder here and Plugin Reloader here, and this has a configuration option. Um, if these are not showing up for you for some reason, you can double check this. So if we go to Manage and Install Plugins um, and click on Installed, get rid of this because it'll give us problems. If we click on Installed, you can see here these plugins that are installed. Most of these are just installed uh, default with QGIS. Make sure you have a check next to each of these. Uh, if you do not, make sure you check them and they may appear. If they still don't appear, you should have them available in the plugins menu. You can see we have plugin builder here and plugin reloader here. So those are the places you should search and hopefully you're able to, to get that already. Um, once you've done this, you can go ahead and close QGIS. In the next video, we will not be directly in QGIS. We'll be setting up our environments um, and then we'll be creating a plugin later on and we don't need to open the QGIS again until we have created our plugin. Uh, look forward to getting more into the plugin development with you uh, as we move forward.